The topic today is dental implants. We're going to be discussing what is a dental implant. So for today's video, I'm going to be showing you uh, a demo version of a dental implant. This is used for just for educational purposes. Of course, that this is not the real size of an implant. The, the real size of an implant, it's uh, a lot more similar to this one that I have on my right hand in green. So this represents uh, more accurately the real dimensions of an implant. It has about 10 to 12 millimeters in, in height. Uh, so a lot smaller than this one that I have on my left side today. So what is a dental implant? The dental implant is a medical device that we use to replace a missing tooth or a failing tooth. It is typically made of titanium and it has generally the shape of a screw. So as you can see here, this is just a demonstration one, so it's a little bit uh, bigger than the, the real ones. Uh, it has the shape of the screw with some threads that will uh, facilitate the insertion of the implant in the right location. And then, as you can see as well, the implant is hollowed on top. And this hollow that we have here, we call to this part of the implant, the implant platform. This will allow us to fit an abutment and then we're going to be able to put a temporary or a permanent porcelain crown on top of this abutment. So basically, if we have a missing tooth or a failing tooth, we may be able, if we have enough bone or if we create that bone that we need, to place an implant. So in order to do it, we need to, first of all, numb the patient. Then we'll use a sequence of uh, surgical drills that we'll use to gently create the, the bed, as we say, uh, the osteotomy site, where we're going to insert the implant. So where we used to have a gap or a failing tooth, we're going to be able to insert the dental implant. And then after uh, about three months, we will be able then to create the porcelain crown that will be put on top of the implant. So, some... so after the implant is placed, the implant uh, takes about three months uh, in average to heal. Could be a little bit less, could be a little bit more, depending on the quality of the bone depending if we have grafted bone or not. But the principle is that the bone will grow against the implant. And because the implant has this screw uh, type of uh, morphology of shape, the, the bone, by growing against this, will lock the implant in position. So then this can be used as a tooth. So you, you're going to be able to use it to chew uh, well, to put pressure here, to eat virtually whatever uh, you want, the patient wants, once the, the implant is restored with the final crown. So sometimes patients, they think that an implant is actually the post that we put on a tooth, or they think that the implant is the crown that will be seen on top of the implant, but no, the implant is just the screw that we will be inserting inside of the bone. So the implant is one of the various uh, ways to replace missing teeth and uh, as I was saying before it has this particularity it has the shape of a screw it will it allow us to uh, easily place the implant in the right position and uh, then we will be able once the implant is locked in the bone we'll be able to create a porcelain crown on top of the implant. I'd like to thank you for your attention today and I'm sure that in the next videos we will be able to cover more items related, not just with the implant, but also with the process of how the implant gets bonded against the bone. I will see you soon. Thank you very much again.